Hey everyone, I hope all of you have been a great day today. Um, I haven't posted a video in about a week now. Um, I'm just getting over being sick. I've had a sore throat, stuffy nose. First I thought it was allergies, then it got a lot worse. And I was literally in bed for the last two days, slept. Took care of myself, feeling a little bit better. So I'm one of those people that if I'm laying in bed all day, I feel like I'm not being productive. And sorry about my nose being really, um, well, being really congested right now. But I'm one of those people that, if I'm laying in bed all day, I feel like I'm not on the grind. I'm not doing stuff I'm supposed to do. So I'm feeling a bit better. Not 100%, probably at 70, 80% maybe. But today I'm going to get a good workout in, um, do a quick overview of my car at 20,000 miles. And I think I'm going to get a car wash too because... It's been a while, and I'm not in the mood to do it myself. I'm not feeling too well, but I know this awesome car wash that actually does a f uh, pretty fantastic job, and I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. gas station that just opened up by my house and it actually does a really really good job so I don't mind coming here once in a while when I'm lazy not to wash my car but uh, someone's supposed to guide me in okay all right so I feel like he doesn't even guide me in correctly my wheels are getting all scraped up right here is honestly phenomenal it does a good job and it also like does a whole light show for you if that makes sense there's like flashing lights for no reason everywhere I'll show you as I go through but it is very good they went above and beyond with this car wash it doesn't just do a good job but it gives you a light show and I'll give you I'll show you this whole car wash right now everything changes colors as you go through it, pink to blue, to green to blue, oh wow. <laughs> right now I'm gonna head to the gym do an upper body day and after that I'll do my walk around on my car finish up this video and all right let's get to it all right guys just finished my workout honestly fantastic workout today um, I haven't worked out in about three days because I've been really sick and honestly when I work out like cause I'm still not a hundred percent better but after the workout, you feel so good. I feel like, I know I'm sick, but I got those like endorphins getting released. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better right now. So right now I'm going to, gonna park where there's no cars around. So there's no distractions and I'm gonna do a 20,000 mile, just walk around with my car right now. I just got a car wash, just to, um, wax my tires. Car looks fantastic right now. So I'm going to park in the back over here, do a walk around the car, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick walk through of my car at 22,000 miles. Um, I'll make this very quick because I made a video like this before. And my car is still bone stock. All I did is black out the 
front wheel right there that makes it more aggressive. Um, honestly, everything's exactly the same as when I first got this car. I love this triple yellow, and it's definitely unique. I never had a car that stood before. I've always had a black car or a dark red car. A car never stood up. So this is definitely something new for me. I get a lot more attention. I absolutely love it. And if there's wind in this video, sorry about that. It's a new video here. You know, this is a quick walk around. So I got a 2015 Ford Mustang GT with premium package. Um, I just got a car wash. And I got wax on these rims right here, or the wheels, so they look awesome, they're shiny. And I am going to black out this 5 emblem, maybe today, if I have time, now I'll do it this week. Got the convertible, which I never thought I was going to get, but now, with the black accents I'm putting on the car, and it came with, it looks phenomenal, that triple yellow. Here's the back of it. Um, still with stock, stock exhaust. Um, love this car. The only thing that I can complain about is for a GT, for a V8 engine, a 5.0 liter, um, it could be a bit louder, but here's a, it's not a cold start, I just turned it off, but here you go, exhaust. So I'm looking to get the Roush, um, the quad axle back, exhaust, absolutely love this car right now. Had it for six months and I love it as much as I first got it. Um, usually I go through a honeymoon phase with all my cars. Honestly, you get sick of it after about six months and I'm still absolutely in love with this car. Um, I went from having a Mustang to a four cylinder Honda Civic SI. 2012 back to my V8 Mustang and honestly going back to a Mustang was the best choice I could possibly have and we'll do one quick walk around one last time and we'll look at the interior really quickly like I said still everything's bone stock base outside exterior and interior tinted windows right here open this up I absolutely love the interior of this car um, like I said, I had a 2007 Mustang, and the interior of that car was complete crap. Uh, for Ford to do this to the interiors of their cars is phenomenal. Look at this, the detailing of the car, the leather um, seats, the leather accents everywhere. Um, these just switches for everything is so high quality. Everything feels really nice. The dials are such high quality here. The nav in this is phenomenal. And just the little things like this Mustang since 1964. Everything looks just so good in this car. And there's no rattles, no sounds in the car from crappy plastic. It's everything is solid. When you, shut, when you shut the door, it shuts solid. Everything is phenomenal. And yeah, I haven't drove it through winter yet, which it looks like that's gonna happen. Because if I do buy a project car, it's not gonna be for the winter, it's just gonna be for a car to work on. So at the moment, I am buying snow tires, I'm getting wheels for this car, I am in Illinois, so I do have those harsh winters, which it is going to suck, but I have drove a Mustang for four years in the winter, and it was the old ones, at least this car has that mode, let's see, where is it at, if you can see it has snow and wet mode, and I'm going to get the snow tires, and hopefully that'll help, I mean, it is a struggle having a real wheel, rear wheel drive with 400 plus horsepower, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make unless I buy a four-wheel drive car, like a Subaru, maybe a Jeep or something. But I was looking to get a, maybe like a car, older Subaru, just to cruise around it in the winter and have this as my summer car. But it's very hard to find one right now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was kind of out there. I just got over being sick. Got a great workout today. Got a car wash. The 20,000 mile update. I'm actually at, let's see. I am at 22,819 miles, and this car is still phenomenal. Um, tell me in the comments if you like these kind of videos. It was kind of like a day in the life vlog. I mean, it was only a couple hours of my day, and I don't know, it's something I wanted to share. 
I'm trying to see what kind of channel I want to have. I have a car channel, workout channel, or maybe just daily vlogs, or maybe vlogs maybe three times a week. I'm trying to figure out what would be best for myself. So I hope you guys have a great day today. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.